Welcome to Space World. Let's go. Oh, hi. So you want to play Rayman 2? Rayman 2 is the second installment in the Rayman series. Unlike the first game, this one goes in a different direction. Going for a more darker tone and a little more focus on storytelling. And it's in 3D. Now technically, there is a direct sequel to the first Rayman game, called Rayman Designer, only on PC. Released two years before Rayman 2. It's pretty much Rayman 1, but with more levels and mechanics. But what's really cool about it is that it comes with a level editor, and you can make your own levels 90s style. But I'll save that for another time. So let's get back to Rayman 2. I'm playing the N64 version. Uh, actually, before I start, there's something I need to bring up because it's kind of the elephant in the room. So there are different versions of Rayman 2, but I'm not going to talk about them except for the music. Because if I talk about version differences, we'll be here all day. To make it simple, N64 is the vanilla port and the PC and Dreamcast are pretty much enhancements of the N64 port. PS1 is a demake and PS2 is an expanded remake. Alright, let's talk about the game already. So the story this time is, oh, we're screwed. The pirates have taken over the world and captured all of our friends and Rayman. Yep, we're screwed. The pirates have also exploded the heart of the world into 1,000 lums. Good lord game, I'm only like 5 years old, give me a break. Okay, before I say anything else, I'm gonna wait for the tile to drop. Ah, it's so good. So we get to see inside the pirate ship, and it shows the prisoners and Globox being sent away. Wait, who are you? Yeah, I kind of forgot to mention, this game ditched all the characters from the first game. Poor Rayman. So, Rayman has lost all hope in humanity, but Globox has a gift from Lee. Wait, ah, uh, no, don't, oh god, uh, it's all over me, ah. You better take a bath after this. Right, time to escape. Hey Rayman, you know you can fly with your helicopter, right? Rayman? Well, guess we're on our own. So now you can really start the game. The A button's to jump. B is to spam. Z for targeting. C button's for camera. R to view the HUD. Very important. And the L button. Well, I'll save that for another time. <laughs> hmm. You know, after moving over to 2D Rayman games, I haven't played 3D Rayman games in a few years. In fact, I haven't played Rayman 2 in a long time. I kind of forgot how slow Rayman used to be. Anyway, so doing some platforming, we meet up with baby Globoxes, and they miss their dad. And we agree to help, but we need to find Lee. And the baby Globoxes point in where we need to go. Okay, bye. Alright, we just freed some teensies, and they're fighting over the crown. Okay, next level, the Fairy Glade. Okay, I'm gonna be skipping a lot of sections for these levels because they're not that interesting. So we're now entering the pirate's base, and we've been spotted. Oh jeez, he's throwing powder- Ep, wait, secret. Okay, he's throwing power cakes at us! But he accidentally break through a secret entrance. And this is where we encounter our first pirate. Wait, that's it? Raymond, how did you even get captured? Okay, we gotta free Lee from this machine. 
We just gotta take this powder keg and blow up the pipes. We have free Lee. She tells us to gather the four masks to awaken Polygus. And gave us a new power. Wait, you said your magic is weak right now, but you have enough power to give me power and teleport? <sighs> Let's just do the next level already. The Marshes of Awakening. This is where he meets Sam the Snake. He's gonna help us get through the swamp by water skiing. This level is fun, you get to do some cool stunts and dodge some obstacles. Yeah, I collected everything I need, so I probably won't see you again. Bye. Let's see what the bad guys are up to. Pfft, dork. This is Razorbeard. He's the main antagonist we need to take down. It, wait, what are you doing for that lum? <gasps> no! Oh my god, no! We need to get the mask now. But first, let's have a race with Lee. It's just a simple race against the clock. If you beat it, you get your health refilled. Where are we at? Oh yeah, the bio. It's nothing special. It's got barrel sections and that's pretty much it. The Sanctuary of Water and Ice. This level is pretty cool. It's an island with a cave to go into. On the other side, there's a door with glowing stones. In here, we find a color sphere. And then you place them on the glowing stones. Okay, we're... in space? All right, I guess we're just gonna slide down these slopes. Oh yeah, this is a good time to talk about sliding. It's pretty whacked. Like it's hard to turn and you can't really move when you jump. All right, first boss, Axel. Wait, that's it? That was so easy. Even bits from the first game was a bit of a threat. Okay, I guess I'll just watch the cutscene and get my mask and leave. So this is where we meet Polycus. And he is pretty much the god of the Rayman universe. You can tell he's a god by looking at his eyes. He has seen... everything. One mask down, three to go. The men here hills. Oh, hey Murphy. This is where you ride the walking shells. Aw, he sounds like a horse. Uh, we can get a new one. Okay, now we can ride the walking shell with some obstacles, which is cool. Whoa, what happened here? Man, that pirate is hella dead. Who's Clark? You've met him before? Okay, I am convinced that this Rayman is not the same Rayman from the first game. Anyway, Clark ate something bad and we need to get an elixir to heal him. So you know what that means. Time to backtrack. So back to the Martians of Awakening. This is Jano. If we want the elixir, we have to do his challenge by going through the cave of bad dreams. But if Jano finds us, he will show us no mercy. Cool, let's go. Huh, that didn't look finished. The Cave of Bad Dreams. This is pretty cool. We finally get to do some actual platforming. And yet, I find this level to be a bit of a drag for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's the part where you need to get the spheres. Back to the room, which is kind of slow. Oh, Jano found us. This part is pretty cool. You're going down a slide while the camera is under Jano's mouth. I always hear people saying this scared them as a kid. Not me though, this didn't scare me. Why? Because this doesn't compare to the nightmares I had when I was young. I had dreams of my brother and my sister's faces melting. Okay, uh, back on track. So we're fighting Jano. He's throwing out skulls and you gotta hit the skull to jump on it. And Jano throws another skull and... Wait, he's just making a bridge for us? Uh, not much of a boss fight, but okay. We beat his challenge and he rewards us with gold. But we have to make a choice. Gold or the elixir. Gold. And we're transported to an island. Gain some weight. 
got our gold, and that's the end. Nah, I'm kidding. Let's go save Clark. Wait, does that mean I have to play the whole level again? <sighs> Alright, let's fast forward this. Alright, here you go. Oh god, please put me down. I need an adult. Okay, cool. He could break through walls. Wow, oh, another wall. Clark, can you take care of that? No, 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 no! Next level, the canopy. I see Globox over there. Oh, shoot, I completely forgot about Globox. Yeah, let's go get him. Hmm, seems normal. <laughs> Stupid spider. Hey, we saved Globox. Watch him do a magic trick. Nice. Aw, he's scared. It's okay, dude. You got a power for us? Sweet. It, uh, oh, come on. Don't you have pockets? So now we can charge our shots now. Don't mind me. I'm just doing what's called a pro gamer move. All right. It looks like Globox wants to go in his own path. Okay. See you around. Whale Bay. This level is neat. It's a beach where you get to swim around in water. Oh, wow. This area has a lot of empty space. But why? There's nothing over here. Ah, well, let's go into the secret passage. Aw, a whale is trapped. Let's free him. The whale is gonna help us get through the underwater area with her bubbles. But watch out for the piranhas. They'll eat the bubbles. You can't shoot them out of the way. But since Rayman swims so fast, I don't need to shoot him. Oh yeah, in this area, I found a secret entrance. It's nothing special, you just get red lums. But I could have sworn this secret was PS2 exclusive. I guess that goes to show how long it's been since I played the N64 version. Next level! I never liked this level. It's not that it's bad, but it is kind of a slog to get through. The plums return, and you can cruise through lava. It doesn't make sense, but neither is having a guy with a floating body. And yet, he can still eat food like a normal person. How does Rayman's digestive system even work? Anyway, let's go left. We got a dungeon to get through, and then we have a walking shell, and this one can jump. This part is kind of tricky, actually. Okay, we're outside. Yep, that area was completely optional, but we did get some lums in cages, though. So let's take the right path, and we have that monster from the Cave of Bad Dreams, but he's hiding behind the tree. Well, I'll just turn around and... Aha! Okay, take the plum and jump up and... Phew! Am I done yet? Are you kidding me? Well, it looks like we're gonna do more plum surfing. After that, we have the color spheres again and bring it all the way over to where the guardian is sleeping. Placing the yellow sphere, we'll turn the knob, which takes you to a different area to get the blue sphere. So we do this section again, and we're in a different section going through slides. A quick reminder, this is all in one level. I'm sorry. Let's just give this Guardian his lava bath and get the second mask already. Oh, and don't forget this lum. God, I feel so bad for those people who had to replay this. Just for this lum. Alright, what's next? Ooh, this one's one of my favorite. So you have this door that's locked, and you need to turn on the four switches to open it. Once it's open, it leads to a cave with a powder cake. If you set the powder cake on fire with this torch, you'll start flying with it. I don't think it works like that, but whatever. Let's jump into this pit and see where it takes us. Hold on, why do I have 48 lums? Hmm. Oh, I'm back in the second level. That's so cool. So you actually can't get all the lums in cages back in the second level because this area is far out of reach. After a bit of that and fight this pirate, we can get the last cage and head back to the level we were currently in. It's so neat to think these levels are connected. I feel like you don't see games do this nowadays. Okay, let's see what Razorbeard is up to. He wants me dead or alive. Heh, <laughs> okay, sure, buddy. Oh, he's serious. Also, finally, some decent action. This is pretty much a gauntlet run. You have a pillar to run up to while water is rising. And you got a part where you go down this hole and helicopter to a massive cave. Like, this is probably the biggest open area in any 3D platformer. Like, dang. We're getting close to finish this, but we have to beat a ninja pirate. He's just like the other pirates, but with more health. 
Hmm, you know, I could just spam shots at him, or I can let the cannons do the work. <laughs> nice. Alright, what's next? Oh, neat, we're riding a chair that spins. This is fun, except when you're collecting lums. Come on. Ah, no! Yeah, there's not much to say about this one, so let's move on. The Sanctuary of Rock and Lava. Okay, another swamp level. In here, we enter an ancient temple filled with spiky vines and lava. I like this one. It's good. I just don't have much to say about it. That's all. Beneath the Sanctuary of Rock and Lava. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm stuck. Oh, Lee. Perfect timing. What's the good news? Oh, sick. I can fly freely. Like the potion in the first game. Oh, yeah. I don't have to worry about that. Have you seen my health bar? Let's fly around. This time you hold A to fly. Instead of tapping the button in the first game. Uh, oh god, I do not like how those vines are moving like that. Let's get the third mask and get the hell out of here. Hmm. It seems empty. <laughs> We're fighting Futch. He's much like Axel, but now you have to run away from him and drop stones on him. But watch out, he's gonna burn you! Got the third mask, nice. We're getting closer. Whoa, this place is spooky. Man, why are there so many spooky areas? When did this game came out? Oh, yeah, that pretty much explains it. So this level is filled with spiders and secrets. Like if we go down here, there's a bunch of pirates and we can collect the 1,000th lum. Wait, I thought Razorbeard ate the 1,000th lum. Hold on, are there actually a thousand and one lums? <music> eh, I'll think about it later. Okay, what's in here? Oh, hey, it's Clark! Raymond. Clark! What's he doing? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh no, he's being under control! So in this boss fight, you just need to hit the three switches to activate the lasers for him to trip over it. So you can hit his back. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting to beat him so quickly with the gold fist, but okay. Last mask, here we go! Ah, cool, rain. I always like looking up at the rain in old games. Very hypnotic. Okay, let's not get distracted. So we go through whatever this is, enter this fort, then go through a waterfall, and jump down this air balloon. We're not going to question why there's an air balloon, it's just there. Whoa, you're scary. I'm just gonna ignore you. Here it is, the last cage. God, you do not need this much health. Oh, hey, Shell. Let's define gravity. Hey, giant robot, can you break these rocks for me? Thanks. Right, what's next? Oh, hello, where are you? Oh, you must be Globox's wife. The pirates have captured him and his children. That's messed up. It's Look at Rayman, he's such a gentleman. Don't worry, side character that will quickly be forgotten after this game, we'll save your children! And now we're riding a pirate ship and we need to board all the baby glow boxes. Yeah, this part actually kind of sucks, uh, let's fast forward this. Aww, this is wholesome. Oh hey, this little one has the last mask. You know what, mad respect dude, you earned it. Alright, bye, I hope you know how to drive that thing! Now that we have all the masks, Polycus can now use his power to help us get through the prison ship. Let's do 94 LOMS! <sighs> Alright, let's go. But first, a special guest appearance from the hip game, Tonic Trouble. He's trying to sell Grogif to Razorbeard. It can do anything, except the dishes. Don't do it, it's a scam. Jesus Christ! Razorbeard is not a typical villain, he wants to commit murder! Well, at least the general has a chest full of gold. Alright, prison shit- Oh god, we're already sir- Hold on. Yeah, we're pretty much gonna be sliding through this ship. Just gotta get the lums- Ah, no! Okay, we're good. Whoa, we're still sliding! 
Man, those wooden floors must have been polished as hell. Same thing as before, but now we have switches to press. We're so close, just a few more lums. Wait, no, I bought no! Okay, let's look around. Okay, gold fist. It's a ninja pirate, and he has a flamethrower! With a really bad hitbox! Alright, GG, dude. Another shell? But what good can that do? I, I, I can fly! We are flying through the ship. This is kind of badass, I'm not gonna lie. You better be ready, Razor Beard, because I'm coming. With the power of my hands covered in cheese dipping, nothing can stop me! Whoa, holy crap, this ship is huge! Okay, let's see what this robot can do. Aw, oh, don't shoot Glowbox. Wait, Rayman, look out! Alright, let the fight begin. Razorbeard is actually pretty easy. You just let him shoot his bombs and bounce it back to him. Oh, and watch out for his stomp attack. Pfft, fatty. Oh, wait, I'm falling too. Hey, Rayman, you can helicopter at any time. <sighs> Whatever, Lee saved us. Nice, everyone has escaped the prison ship, and we still need to beat Razorbeard. Wait, he's still alive? So this fight is a bit confusing. So you have to go through these tubes and get this power shot. Then shoot Grogif's hands to bring him down to the lava. And repeat this until his health goes down. Oh, and watch out for the very loud homing shots! Got him. Hey, he's getting away! Uh oh. Uh, Rayman, we should probably get out of- <laughs> Rayman! Uh, oh no. He's okay. But seriously, this almost made me cry as a kid. Everyone cheered and roll credits. And that's Rayman 2. It's good. I like Rayman 1 more, but it's still good. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Rayman 2's direction. I prefer the more creative and wackiness from the first game. Not saying Rayman 2 isn't creative, it is. It just doesn't have very many levels that stands out. There's Cave of Bad Dreams and the temples look cool, but that's it. It's got fun characters. I like Razorbeard. See him getting angry as you collect masks is entertaining. The graphics are nice for N64. I don't really care for graphics in games, but N64 actually looks really nice. There's actually some really good lighting in some places. Oh yeah, the music! So since the N64 is a cartridge-based system, it uses MIDI, and this version has exclusive tracks. I know most of everyone prefers the CD quality soundtrack, but I'm gonna be honest, I've listened to the original soundtrack on pretty much every version, and I played through them several times, but the CD soundtrack just never clicked with me. I actually find some of the tracks kind of annoying, and the other tracks sounds like it's trying way too hard to sound epic. Also, I think the tracks exclusive to N64 just sounds better. I think the N64 soundtrack is underrated, and it fits the mood much better. I mean, this is just my opinion. So here's an example. In the prison ship, the original track is a 6 second loop until you reach to this point. And then this track plays. I thought this part of the track kills the mood for me. 
Now on N64, the song is extended. It does loop, but on the second loop, one of the instruments is switched off, and it has that sense of buildup. And when you reach to that spot, it changes the song, but it keeps the tone. It gives you that feeling that you're in this horrible factory trying to save everyone in it. It's not just for this song. All the music has a build up to it, but yeah. So that begs the question, why haven't I played Rayman 2 in so long? Because it's boring. I mean, yeah, it has a decent story, but that's kind of all it has. In terms of gameplay, there's not much here to keep me coming back to it. The pirates are so easy to beat, you can just spam B until they're defeated. Heck, you don't even need the lock on button. The shots auto aim as long as you're facing them and you can't ran out of energy. I like games both easy and hard, but Rayman 2 is way too easy. Like, you really don't need that much health in a 3D platformer. Even if you lose all of it, there's no punishment for it. It seems like most of the things you do is just running a bunch of hallways and running in big areas with barely anything to do in them. Also sitting on moving platforms. And some of them take about a minute. A lot of the times it just feels like I'm not really doing anything. The gimmicks aren't fun either. The shell is clunky. Same for the flying powder cake, and who the heck actually enjoys controlling the pirate ship? Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying Rayman 2 is a bad game. It's a fine game. I get why people like Rayman 2. I just don't see much reason to go back to it unless if it's for nostalgic reasons. But I will give Rayman 2 this. It does remind me how much I miss old 3D platformers. I feel like you don't see 3D platform games like these anymore. But yeah, that's it. I think Rayman 2 is a good way to start the franchise. You should check it out if you haven't. Phew. Now I just gotta do you. But first, I want to talk about some Rayman spinoffs. See you soon!